guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test server, and finally the brand new event is up. That is right, guys, the beast clashes up. We can see all of our popular beasts in there. Um, looks like they forgot the new ones, um, the, the new uh, rock tanking beast. But let's go ahead and check this out, guys, see exactly what it is. Now, the beast clash is going to reward you chests out of here. Um, get some pretty decent loot. I mean, anytime that we can get some resource chests or some reward chests out of here as well as some elite stones are pretty cool. But the question is free to play. How many of these can we exactly get? We're going to look at it in just a minute, guys. But you can see coming down here, there are starting to get some green chests at 550 which it looks like gives you quite a bit of rewards out of here, which makes me think this probably isn't going to be free to play. Plus we have Stargazer cards and time emblems out of there. Absolutely loving that guys. And then a ton of rewards chests out of here. Going a little bit further, we start getting these blue chests, which of course is going to give us double chests, which again, I'm assuming this is going to be pay to win. As we continue town, we'd see a couple more blue chests and some more green. Then we finally get to this one, guys. This is going to be the emojis out of here. Um, very cool looking with the beast class emojis. I wish they were something um, that could be earned. Again, I'm not sure at this point if they can be earned, if we can get them. But I do love the emojis with the new um, beast out of there. Going a little bit further down, you do get your chat bubble. So the beast clash um, campus footprint, the, the chat bubble is going to be in there. Then ultimately, the bottom is going to be, guys, the animated avatar frame. Now, in the past, these avatar um, animated avatar frames have been pretty expensive, as in a, a couple thousand dollars to get these frames. I'm not sure exactly the cost of this. We're going to have to see where we do get the resources out of here and what we can do. Let's look through and see exactly what it says, guys. During the event, players can earn a lot of beast medals, so I like that. Players can obtain a lot of event chests as rewards, which I like. Beast can, medals can be exchanged for different types of rewards. Unlocking all beast clash amethyst chests to additionally receive the, the emojis, the chat bubble, and of course the avatar frame out of there. So again, a couple cool rewards out of there. Let's take a look at the bravery rewards. Now this is going to be the rewards that we're getting out of here, which looking at the traditional, um, it seems like it's going to be the same. Um, we have our red chests out of here. We probably do have, I'm assuming, the elemental cores out of here. Um, the beast food is in here, and that is going to be beasts. It is heroes. I was hoping out of here that we could actually pull a couple copies of the elite beast that we get from the summons, but it looks like the bravery rewards are going to yield us heroes out of here, guys. Biggest heroes looking at this would be, number one would be Alna. Ulna, of course, has to be that ascended level, has to get that furniture, um, would be my first priority if you have Mortis, or if you don't have Mortis yet, guys, um, getting another copy of Mortis would probably be my second choice, followed by Zafriel, and then Mizoth down here would be the next choice. Looking at the regular heroes, guys, never worth the price to buy these regular heroes. You can put them in the wish list. you can do desired hero summons. Wukong, another hero, is a very solid pass. So traditionally, we can get one of these heroes, and then we can also get um, a couple other chests, red chests, or some of the elemental cores, possibly some beast food. But that seems pretty expensive when you look at 60 of these for 50 beast food. That seems like a pretty expensive cost. Um, so overall, guys, the heroes, the cores, the red chests, depending on where you are within AFK Arena. Now... How do we pick these up? So it looks like it is out of daily deals. Then of course, guys, the event deals for the purchase only. Let's look at the daily deals right here. So we get nine of these every single, it looks like every single day we're getting nine of them. Um, weekly, they're usually not included, which it looks like is the case here. So in total, guys, we're gonna get 45 of these a day out of our five chests, getting nine a day, 45 a day, which brings us to and I'm going to have to bust out the calculator, guys, because we only have 12 drop days. So I think they're going to do exactly what we've seen in the past, guys. Um, I'm going to bring my calculator right over here so you guys can see it. So if we're getting 45 a day, we have our 12 days. That gives us 540. So they did short us like they have in the past, guys. Um, so the 540 is going to end right before you get the green chest. So you're literally going to be 10 points away um, from getting this green chest, which means if you want to buy it or if you do want to get the Stargazer cards out of here, they're going to cost you, I'm assuming, $1 
um, to get those additional 10 out of here. So for $1, and they've done this in the past, guys, where it is the pay to win aspect to get this to the point. So if you maximize them out, you should get 540, um, leaving you essentially 10 short from getting the chest, which I think is a pretty bogus thing to do, but they have their own agenda. Um, let's check out the event deals, guys. See what we can get out of here. Now, as you can see, guys, for $1, you do get 30 of those. So that would push us over this avenue of the 540 to actually get that chest, um, which again, it is kind of crazy to see. So looking here, guys, we have $25 for 150, uh, $50 for 270, then it is 520. Uh, for $99, so $100 for 520 of these. Usually in the merchant ship, they will show up as well, which they do. So 18 of these for, again, um, $1, and then 38 of these for $5 out of the merchant ship. Um, a, a pretty good deal. I always get these daily deals if I am going to purchase anything out of here. Seems like it is usually is a much better benefit than getting the special event deals out of here to pick up these beast medals. Um, overall, that is kind of the place that I get them. So looking at the price, guys, so I'm going to jot this down because if we're getting 540 of these, and I'm just kind of thinking if it's 520 for $100 for 520 of these, then what is the sheer cost of the event? And again, I, I kind of like playing this game. Um, so if we're looking down here, guys, and if you look, our total down here to get the frame is 75.60 so we'll do our 75.60 by our 5.40 so 75.60 uh 75.60 minus our 5.40 so you need 7,000 of those so 7,021 that will get you the avatar frame guys and again looking at the event deals so divided by our 5.20 which means you got to buy about 13.5 so you're going to spend probably about 1300 bucks 1400 bucks um to get that avatar frame now of course there's going to be a lot of additional rewards with that but you're probably looking about 1300 dollars in afk arena during the event period to get that frame again 13.5 um would be 1300 dollars plus the 50 dollar pack um it would give you so 13 Yep, 1350 bucks to, to get the avatar frame out of there, which again is kind of crazy. But it seems like for the event itself, there's not anything to do. You come in here, you do your daily quest, that's it. You'll pick up some loot, which I like. You'll get a free hero out of the bravery re rewards, um, which I absolutely like. Anytime that you're getting a free celestial or hypogen, or you can stockpile some of your red chests, you can stockpile some of your elemental cores in here. Um, to really, really build out some of your heroes. So overall, guys, not too much again going on with this event, the Beast Clash. But guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.